You know, there's a lot happening with the Raiders right now, stuff that's got fans talking and not always for the reasons you'd expect. On one hand, we've got a player quietly stepping up and proving everyone wrong, and on the other, there are these wild rumors about a certain legendary coach possibly making his way to the NFL. Yeah, you heard me right, it's the kind of mix that keeps things interesting even in a tough season like this. But what does it all mean for the team's future? Are we looking at the start of something big, or just another round of what-ifs for Raider Nation? Let's dive in and break it all down. What's up buddies, welcome back. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We cover all AFC West news here on this channel. Let's talk about what's happening on the field, starting with a player who's been flying completely under the radar. I am talking about the Raiders' left tackle, Colton Miller. At the start of the season, the criticism was loud. Fans were frustrated, questioning his value, and some even wanted him traded. In the first four games, he gave up six sacks. That's the kind of stat that gets people talking for all the wrong reasons. But then suddenly we've witnessed a change. I mean, a drastic change over the last six games. Not a single sack allowed. Not one. Honestly, this is amazing. And it's not just the stats. His tape tells the real story. Watching him in the Dolphins game, for example, you see a player who's sharp, composed, and completely in control. He's reading the defense, adjusting mid-play, and making those split-second decisions that define elite players. Pro Football Focus has taken notice too, ranking him as one of the best performers during this stretch. It's clear that he's not just bouncing back, he's proving he's a cornerstone for this team. And with the Raiders possibly looking to draft a new quarterback soon, having a reliable left tackle to protect the blind side, that's priceless. I am surprised why isn't anyone talking about him. Colton Miller isn't just holding his ground, he's thriving. And if this is what he can do while battling through a tough season, imagine what he's capable of next year with a clean slate. It's time to give credit where it's due. While Colton Miller's resurgence is a bright spot, the rest of the offensive line still has work to do. Sure, Miller and Jackson Paris Johnson at center look like solid cornerstones for the future, but the guard positions? That's a different story. It's no secret that the interior of the line has struggled this season, and it's become a glaring issue. You know, without a strong offensive line, everything falls apart. The quarterback gets rattled, the run game can't get going, and drives stall before they even begin. We've seen this play out with Gardner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell. Both have struggled under pressure, and it's hard to blame them when they've had defenders in their face every other snap. Fixing this isn't optional, it's critical. And the Raiders have options. The upcoming draft is stacked with talented guards, and free agency offers a chance to bring in experienced players who can make an immediate impact. But here's the catch. You can't rebuild an offensive line overnight. It's about finding the right mix of talent and chemistry to create a unit that can protect the quarterback and dominate in the trenches. The Raiders' offense can't take the next step without shoring up this line. Colton Miller has proven he can anchor one side, but he can't do it alone. If the team wants to prepare for a future with a young quarterback, maybe even Shedder Sanders, they'll need to fix these weak spots first. And as just we talked about the Shedder Sanders, we must shift gears to one of the most talked about rumors in football right now. Just imagine Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, stepping into the NFL spotlight. And not just anywhere, right here with the Raiders. It sounds like something out of a dream, or maybe a headline designed to blow up the internet. But is there actually something to this? The buzz started when Dion himself hinted at the idea of coaching his son, Shadur Sanders, in the NFL. Add to that Ice Cube, representing Raider Nation, openly saying he'd love to see it happen, and suddenly the speculation went wild. It's hard not to get caught up in the excitement. After all, Dion has built a reputation as a culture changer, winning everywhere he's gone, from high school to Jackson State to Colorado. But let's pump the brakes for a second. The NFL is a whole different ballgame and succeeding here requires more than just charisma and college success. Plus, Dion himself has said he's committed to Colorado for now. So, while the idea of a Sanders duo, father coaching son, sounds like a storybook moment, the reality might not be so simple. Still, the question lingers. What if? What if the Raiders took a bold step like this? Would it be the start of a new era or just another risk that doesn't pan out? For now, it's all just talk, but in a season full of ups and downs, even the possibility has Raider Nation buzzing. With the Raiders set to face the Broncos in their next matchup, the team's injury situation couldn't come at a worse time. Injuries have been a recurring nightmare for the Raiders this season, and it's reaching a breaking point. Key players like Nate Hobbs, Christian Wilkins, and Ja'Korian Bennett have been sidelined for weeks, leaving massive gaps on the field. 
and if that wasn't enough, both starting running backs are out, forcing the team to rely on backups like Amir Abdullah and Dylan L., who are still unproven in key roles. The secondary is struggling without its starters, leaving the defense exposed against explosive offenses. The running game has lost its punch, which makes it harder to control the clock and take pressure off the quarterback. And with each week, it's clear these injuries aren't just bad luck, they're reshaping the season. That said, there's a silver lining. With the team's playoff hopes already slim, this is an opportunity to evaluate young talent. Players like Dylan Lobb have a chance to prove themselves. Sure, he's had issues with ball security, but this is the time to see if his explosiveness can translate into consistent production. If the Raiders are smart, they'll use the rest of the season to figure out who can be part of the future. The injuries are a tough pill to swallow, but they've also forced the Raiders to test their depth and resilience. This stretch will show who's ready to step up and who might not make it to next year's roster. It's not the situation any team wants, but it's one the Raiders have to face head on. With only two wins this season, it's safe to say the Raiders are facing some hard truths. The playoffs are out of reach, but that doesn't mean this season is a total loss. In fact, it could be one of the most important rebuilding opportunities the team has had in years. First, there's the draft. If the Raiders continue on this path, they're looking at a top 10 pick. That opens the door for a franchise-altering decision. Do they draft a quarterback like Shadir Sanders or Cam Ward, or do they focus on fixing their glaring weaknesses, like the interior offensive line or the defense? It's a high-stakes decision that could define the next era of Raiders football. But the draft isn't the only priority. The Raiders also need to evaluate their coaching staff. Is Antonio Pierce the right guy to lead this team long term? And what about the offensive coordinator? This season may be lost, but it's a chance to see if the current leadership can develop young talent and establish a foundation for the future. There's also the matter of the roster. With injuries exposing the lack of depth, the team has to decide who's worth keeping and who's not. Players like Dylan L. and the young defensive backs are getting valuable reps now, but will they prove they belong on the team next season? The Raiders are at a crossroads. Every decision from now until the draft will shape their path forward. Do they tank the rest of the season for a better draft position? Or do they fight to the end and use this time to build momentum for the future? One thing is clear, the stakes have never been higher for this franchise. All right, Raider Nation, now it's your turn. What do you think about Colton Miller's season? Is he finally getting the recognition he deserves, or does he still have more to prove? And let's talk about those Dayon and Shedeur Sanders rumors. Are they just wishful thinking, or could they actually be the spark the Raiders need? With the draft looming and the season winding down, what do you think the team's priorities should be? Should they go all-in for a quarterback or focus on building a stronger offensive line and defense? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We want to hear what you think about the future of this team. And if you're as passionate about the Raiders as we are, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. There's still so much to unpack as this season plays out, and we'll be here to break it all down for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Go Raiders!